long live free Palestine and Haiti. She finally stopped clapping, that is, once she realized they were mocking her. It's just a, another embarrassment, I think. Uh, yeah, another. It seems to be a daily thing, Stu. And, and you just witnessed exhibit, you know, Z, as far as why <laughs> Kamala Harris is the most unpopular vice president in polling history. She's somehow more unpopular than Dick Cheney, who, who led us into a war under false pretenses and literally shot a guy in the face. So that's really saying something about Kamala Harris. And by the way, what is she even doing in Puerto Rico? I know Democrats want to make that a state, but at last check, no electoral votes down there. And then she's there to talk about solar energy. Uh, again, th this is why... As a vice president on this ticket, you already have an unpopular president and a more unpopular vice president. The problem is you can't get rid of her because obviously that would alienate uh, those uh, voters of color who, who may be offended by that. And as we know and as we've talked about, Joe Biden's already hemorrhaging support among Hispanics and blacks. So there's your vice president and possible president if Joe Biden wins again uh, and she has to take over for whatever reason. So uh, this is something that Republicans should run on. Make Kamala Harris Absolutely. front and center in any campaign ad because it's she's a net negative, clearly, and not a net positive. A vote for Joe is a vote for Kamala as president, and that's the way it is. Joe Concha, I meant to uh, you know what I'm talking about here. Not, not a vote for yeah, you, a vote for Joe Biden, the other guy. Okay? <laughs> Let's get that straight. Joe Concha, you're all right. Thanks very much indeed, sir. See you soon. You're all right, Stu. Take care.